Yep. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Kimboology. And you guys, I have a guest on today. My good, good, good sis, Marga, Margarita Bino. She's Tuning in, she's joining us um, in the podcast streets all the way from London, correct? Are you in London or are you in Italy? London, London. London, okay, cool, cool, yes. cool. So yeah, so um, she is a good, good friend of mine, Margarita Amigo, way back, me and my homegirl here. <gasps> we're gonna we're gonna catch up in a little bit, but I want her to say hi. Say hi, Margarita. Hi, world, how are you? Hi. <laughs> Girl, I am living for this ponytail. Living. Yeah. It's a new, it's a new hairstyle, so I really like it. I feel like a little Latina, you know, with the, the you know, the big uh, earrings and everything. So, girl, really proud of my hairstyle. I know, she's looking hella like she's looking hella like Salina ish with this yeah. long like ponytail braid. If you guys are watching in the visuals, you can see Margarita's beautiful face. Well, so you guys, Margarita is actually, but she's not. She's actually Italian. She's actually from Italy. Born in Italy, born in Genova. Yes, right? indeed. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Good pronunciation. Yeah. Did I do it right? Did I do it right? Yes. Genova. And... Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So crazy story. So me and Marga actually met while I was backpacking. I was backpacking in Sydney, wasn't I, Margarita? Wasn't I, Marga? Yeah. Yes. I, I remember. I actually, back in the days, I was uh, in Sydney for work. And then I was supposed to go after that in Melbourne. And I remember uh, we met because one of my clients was your roommate in the hostel, the German one. I don't know if you remember. Oh, I th is that how we... Wait, what about us at the... We were both at an Airbnb. Weren't we both staying at a hostel? Uh, YHA. Yeah, YHA hostel. Which yeah, is one we of were at a YHA hostel. Hostels, yeah. yeah. And I remember you You decided to go... You were you, uh, you were sure to uh, what hostel pick. But yes. you picked that one because it had free Wi-Fi. Remember that? Yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I need to go where the free Wi-Fi is. So yeah. YHAs are cute though. YHAs are like a little, like they're like almost like a chain. Like they're like YHAs yeah. all over the world. Mm -hmm. And um, yes. it's like a, it's like a hostile Yes, um, we do chain. have one in London actually, but uh, it's, it's not that come backpacking in, in Europe, in my opinion, but it's more, it's more, I think in general in Australia, it's, it's easier actually and it's cheaper. It's but, cheaper. Yeah. 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 I like, I would always, I would try to go to YHAs when I would backpack. Cause I knew that it was going to be like, like not, it was going to be clean. It was going to have yes. Wi-Fi. You know, it was very like internationally friendly and expats yes. were always living in there. Expats are people that live in yes. other, you know, like all over the world. And, you know, so, um, so yeah. So Margarita and I met, we met at a, like a hostel in Sydney. And mm -hmm. I remember that we both, yeah, we were, you were just cool as fuck. She was just this cool ass, you know, <laughs> Italian chick, you know, really down to earth, really, really sweet, just so nice. And then I remember that you told me you were moving to Melbourne for work, mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes. And yes. at that time, girl, do you remember that girl that I met that was like, she was living in Melbourne as like a, like, a, like an au pair, like a nanny. And she told me, she was this white girl from like, from the States. Were you with us when we were, she was telling us about that? She's no, that bitch no. that changed my like life. She like told me that I, she told me she was like like living in Australia, and I was like, she's like, you should do it too. And I was like, hmm, maybe I will. Yeah. I don't remember her name. I don't. Well, remember. me either. Me either. Actually, but it was I'm, that that YHA. Uh, yeah, it I, was there. Oh, okay, okay. I think it yeah. was the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It was it. there. Yeah, I remember yeah. that because I remember it was that YHA that I met her at because it was in Australia. Um, it was in Sydney, oh, and yeah, she like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, okay yeah mm -hmm. got enough mm -hmm. but at that time um I didn't I wasn't gonna decide to move to Australia or anything mm -hmm. like that I just kind of no. like was like okay I'm gonna keep traveling and then mm -hmm. I went back to the states and I was like girl this is the ghetto let me get the fuck out of here <laughs> I was like this is the ghetto that. I'm getting the fuck out of America and that's when I like hit Marga up I hit her up and I was like girl like how are yeah. you like I and you were just like so nice you were just like come come to melbourne like come stay with me i got you girl right do you remember that yeah yeah i remember actually when i met you in the in the host i want to say that this i saw you and i said she has to be my friend because i got i go with energies with people because it's all about energies right yeah and i believe in that and i saw you said she has to be my friend so hello there. i come here let's have a chat so yeah, then I Girl. told you to come to Melbourne, you know, and you like me, go with the flow, you know, and everything, everything happens for a reason. 
everything. So, yeah. Yes. And, Amen to that, girl. Uh, yes. And then I remember that you would say, okay, I'm just checking the flight, whatever. And, and then you said, okay, and this time I'm going to be in Melbourne. I said, all right, yes, just come. And that was it. <laughs> yeah, girl. And you let me sleep in your fucking bed. Yes. Like, this is the home girl that... <laughs> She let me sleep in her bed for like a month while I looked mm-hmm. for a place to live in Melbourne. Mm-hmm. I mean, and she was so sweet. Mind you, I've only, I only met Margo like one time before that. I only met you <laughs> yeah, one time. Yeah, we spent a few days in Sydney. Maybe that we used to have like a noodle soup in Sydney because we clicked. Oh, yeah. we, we obsessed with Asian food, so... Still this obsessed. bitch is so obsessed <laughs> with Asian food. Like, if you take, if you want to, a hey, for my men out there that are watching, and she's like, she's fine as fuck. Like Marga, like, me, how do I wine and dine her? Take her to get some noodle soup. She'll be happy. I'm pleased. I'm happy. <laughs> and talk about Jamie Foxx, right? And talk yes, about Jamie Foxx. Yes. Because <laughs> Marga my is obsessed oh, boots my with Jamie Foxx. Yeah, I just love him. Yeah, I'm so proud of him. So my husband, he doesn't know yet that he's my husband, but he will one day. So. <laughs> I told Marga, I'm like, Marga, when I make it, boo, and I'm in a movie with Jamie Foxx, I'm going to fly your ass in, and I'm going to make, I'm going to let you meet him, girl. I promise you. Like, I swear to God. Yeah. If ever I have that opportunity, when I have that opportunity, I'm speaking into existence, yes. baby. Whenever, yes. when I have that opportunity, you're going to meet, you going to meet your husband, boo, okay? Oh, yes, of course. I'm going to quit my job, everything. I don't care. So, yeah. One shot, you know. She's so obsessed with Jamie Foxx. Like, yeah, it's so I just cute. just love him. Like, I just love him. He's just so inspiring anyway. So, and he's a good looking man, of course. Oh, so girl. I can't deny that. But apart Super from that, talented. You know, ama- he's hilarious. I mean, it's just, yes. The last thing that you see that he's a gorgeous, good man. I mean, you, he has so much talent and he does so much for his community. So, you know, I mean, I think he's 100% a man, you know. So, girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Girl. I, I fucking love Jamie Foxx. I mean, of course, that's your husband. I ain't gonna, you know, I ain't gonna tear you guys apart or nothing. But yeah, she's always been so obsessed with Jamie Foxx. So that day will come. If you're out there, Jamie Foxx, my homegirl, Margarita, she's uh, she's been in love with you for years. Yes, so. I am. <laughs> Well, I invited Margarita to the podcast, um, not only because she's just like a really dope friend of mine, my one of my ride or die traveling buddies, like ride or die traveling. We've we've both traveled the world. We both lived abroad. Um, Currently, she's living abroad as well. She's actually currently living in London, but she's actually from Italy. And I wanted to call her. I wanted to talk to her and bring her on the show because I wanted to know what the current state was like there in London. I want to know how, remember, I don't know if you guys, obviously, if you guys are under a rock, you don't know, but if you guys have been paying attention to the news, there's this like strain of COVID, coronavirus, COVID-19 that, that derive, I guess, apparently from, from the UK. And it's like super contagious. It's like, it, apparently it's running rapid now in the States. It's like everywhere. But um, I want to know what was what's been going on in London. We're gonna re we're gonna re uh kind of do a little like re revamping and kind of going back and like talking about our days living in Australia together mm-hmm. and yeah. stuff like that. So um, that's kind of what why I invited her on. Um, first of all, uh, so right now, so right now you're in London, right? Did yes, you? Yeah. How long have you now? You guys are in lockdown or no? Like you guys can't go outside. Well, no, yes, actually, we still we are in the our third lockdown. Third so lockdown. in one year we had this is the third one, and it started the sixteenth of December, and it's still going on. So wow. apparently, but there's few rumors. Of course, are uh, rumors. So I'm not. I mean, nothing is sure. Probably pubs and restaurant because I work in a restaurant. Pubs and restaurants are gonna be uh, they're gonna be open. Uh, beginning of may so beginning of may yes now just grocery shop you can go grocery shopping also because only the supermarkets and um, pharmacies are open and that's it that's you still it. got public transports and this says up to, you know you, the government says well you shouldn't go out so but if you go out no one's gonna give you a fine or nothing you know maybe mm-hmm. if you go to the city police can stop you but you know i mean in italy for example they, they stop you and if they caught you that you're not in your zone in your area is 400 euros fine right here wow you know? so they yeah, find you yeah. 400 euros in italy yeah, of course yes yeah but and you did go back to italy you went home to italy yes right, so, oh absolutely oh yes absolutely so i spent my first three months of the our first lockdown the international one let's say uh from march until june and then i said let me get the fuck out from London because you know I was by myself anyway because my flatmates once was in Italy the other one was to his uh, girlfriend's house whatever 
and then I spent three months in Italy to three recharge Italy. my soul, let's say, my mm-hmm. batteries. And it was a life changer anyway, to be honest. Were you and with then, your family when you were yes. in Italy? Okay. Yeah, with yes, with my family. Yeah, yeah. So it was nice to catch up with family and friends, you know, and then it was summer, you know, proper summer, yeah. But okay, now, so you spent the summer in Italy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In Genova, right? Yes, in Genova. Yeah. And then I went to Naples. I traveled a little bit. I said, let me let me just take the advantage because I said, I don't know where I'm gonna travel again, you know, because I know. And I Girl, are it. you dying because you can't travel? Yes. Isn't it so I hard? wanna go, I wanna go to an island like Spanish island or Ibiza or could yes. be uh, like one week having my beer or my margarita you know drink and that's it and die there done maybe i, I could go look in spanish guy and that's it you know? <laughs> Marga trying to get busy on a visa yeah. y'all <laughs> she's trying to get busy yeah. Y'all. yes yeah we need it girl i mean i can't like so me and margarita we're huge travelers and that's how yeah. we met it's like been traveling and living abroad and it, yeah, it's been really tough. I mean, like, so for me and you, what oh, fuck? How long has it been since we moved away from Australia? Well, it was 2016, and 2016. it was uh, yeah, uh, five years ago. Five already. years ago, yeah, yeah. Since and like yesterday, did you leave before me or did I leave? No, you had to leave before because you had to go home for an emergency. I mean, you know. Yeah, my or, father passed. Yeah, me, okay, yeah, yeah but I, I mean, but I went. I came it, back. I went back to Australia. Yeah, but but I, I left because. You left. You left that's in right. July. I think you left in July and left in August. That's why. Right. right. So you came. You last night. I think you came for dinner, and then I remember yeah. that you had to go back to United States. And then the time you went back, back to Australia was gone already. That's and, right. You uh, were gone already. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah that's right. And then you um, did you, you went back home right for a little bit. Six months. The worst yes. six months ever. Because you know I want to say something to you people that are listening to us. Because, okay, guys, uh, I'm Italian, born and raised in Italy, as Kim mentioned, but my mom is from Scotland. And my mom, when I, before moving to, uh, she lives in Italy still. Um, before moving to Australia, she saw, told me something that I wanted to tell you in my body. And she said, remember, if you never come back to Italy one day back home, you're going to be a foreigner in a, in a foreign country, in this, in this case, Australia, and you're going to be a foreigner in your home country. When you mm. travel, you don't think about that because when mm. you come back, everything changed you changed your friends maybe they are changing in a different way sometimes you feel a foreigner you know i mean it doesn't have to be a, a negative way but for you it's like oh my god what's what's going on you know so it's something that i wanted to bring it up you know yeah so so when she when your mother told you that when you got back when you came back to italy mm-hmm. that you would feel like a foreigner in your own in your own country actually she told me before moving to australia but she said once you're gonna come back you will understand what i told you you know and I completely agree with you. No. Like, I remember when I came back after, like, I finished my year living abroad mm-hmm. in Australia. I remember I went back to Chicago because, mm-hmm. you know, your bitch, I, I got, you know, I wasn't going to yeah. pay what the 10,000 Australian dollars just to get no. a fucking, you know, visa, right? Yeah. Right, Marga? No, Wasn't yeah. it so fucking yeah. expensive? It was like yeah, it is uh, actually yeah, and sometimes it's dodgy because they say, "Yeah, I'm gonna sponsor you, but you need to pay back the sponsorship, which yeah. is illegal." But lots of people doing it, you know. So right, yeah, yeah like it, like in order for you to stay in, in Australia, like you would have to get a job to sponsor you, and like a lot of jobs, like don't want to fucking do that. They don't want to pay for you, obviously. You pay half of wherever, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. especially when they can get an Australian that can live in Australia. They can live there yeah, legally and like course. pay them like a regular wage. They're not gonna yeah. sponsor people, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and it's not like you know, I wasn't really doing like like unless you had like a specific career, like which is like very like detail, like you needed to yeah, be like yeah, engineer, like an engineer. Or lawyer, or, yeah, or architect, whatever. I don't know. Right, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so uh yeah, me and Marga had to leave, and um I agree <laughs> with you, Boo. Like when I went back home, I just like felt so out of place first of all everyone said I talked like a fucking weirdo because I had an Aussie accent did you ever get that when you went home to be honest no really uh no me me you mean me or you or general no I meant like when you went home did people say like like you're talking funny or anything like that well you know because you speak English so maybe people they can catch Uh, ah because I speak Italian you know but uh actually you know what the funniest thing when I went back to Italy after two years I met so many Aussies. I said, where have you been? In all this time? I met you before. And they said, oh my God, I used to have an Aussie accent. Kim, you remember that? Yeah. When I go to Australia, you know, it comes up again, uh, of course. But 
before I used to really have because my experience was only uh, also people don't know I, I have also uh, my half of my Scottish family is in Australia Melbourne so yes so, yes so I, I always been surrounded of English mother tongue people rather Americans like him or uh, like Natalie you know Natalie yes and, uh, yes oh my god um, yeah. you know yeah 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 so it was different but uh, yes, uh, in, in yeah. English people they used to tell, tell me, "Oh my God, you are you from Melbourne?" So, oh my God, yeah, I live there for two years. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I remember when I came back, everybody was. I would talk. I would say weird things like. In America, obviously, like we don't just certain things like now, a, not a lot of now, a lot of Americans say no worries. Like before, well, before I left, like you know the whole like you know instead of saying yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah. Like, they say, oh no worries, awesome. like oh yeah. it's okay, you know, don't worry about it, right? It's they would say mm -hmm. no worries, no yeah. worries, mate, no worries, mate, no worries, mate, right? Yeah, that's true. Right, and so yeah, but yeah, now yeah. in America, everybody's it's very like that's not like an uncommon thing to say no worries, but um, what's some uncommon thing? I would say uh, you reckon. You reckon, yeah, it's totally. I would say you reckon, like instead uh, of yes. saying like, do you think? Absolutely. Do you think? Yeah. Like, do you reckon? And they'd be yeah. like, what the fuck are you saying that for? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I still say I it sometimes too. I'm like, I just I'm so used to it, you know. I'd be like, oh, like for example, uh, stubby, which is the bottle of beer. Is which it, would one? You like a stubby? Would stubby? You like a stubby. Stubby is like uh, the bottle of uh, the glass bottle of beer. Ah, and, you know, a stubby. A, ah, that's really Aussie. That's very Aussie. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, yeah, do you want a stubby? Is. I forgot. Yeah. Would you you, like you, stubby? My homegirl here, she drinks, she loves beer. So she has all okay. the beer yeah. lingo yeah, everywhere yeah. in the world. <laughs> but let me tell you, it's been a month that I've, I've not been drinking. It's the first time ever in my life because I'm in lockdown. So Wait, I decided from, I stopped drinking for a month now. Oh, I'm nice. Yeah, because we're in lockdown. Yeah. We're, we're in lockdown and never happened uh, before in my life not drinking for a month and Kim knows it because I love beer that's my Scottish roots comes out of there course. you go uh, yes I love it but I said at least for a month like a dry January because here in the UK they do the dry January dry January yeah right? but I decided no I'm, I'm not in the right position to drink you know it's blocked out you know yeah. it makes sense if you go out with your friends and you have a beer or you, right. if you get fucked up whatever but in lockdown is so my my buddy's really happy i'm happy and i'm a I actually feel a better person but i still smoke my cigarettes uh, i'm sorry marga <laughs> you still smoke cigarettes i know i know boo -boo. I, love it. I know but you know in italy it's really common to smoke i know that is wrong but at least i quit drinking for for a while so well true do you smoke weed now <laughs> do you smoke weed no 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 otherwise i'm gonna eat like like 24 7 so i said no nah. bitch that's me <laughs> girl like i've been fucking eating like a crazy fucking woman i know it's, it's the chemic yeah. reaction they call it something about like it's something like the that... munchies yes yeah, yes yes, yes, munchies, yes. Like but, but i think once in a while everyone should smoke once a month and good like joint to relax girl take, i'll i'll say that but i'll say maybe once a day uh <laughs> everybody yeah, I'm for a, some people yeah, yeah girl i be smoking every day now <laughs> shit well no that's what i do now mark i don't know if i told you i work in cannabis now oh that's good that's a good business mm -hmm. actually yeah really so yeah. you know it's because it, it's legal now so when you come visit me yeah mark yeah, was supposed got, yeah. to come visit me like last was it last year yeah. the year before yeah, last, last uh, oh it was the year before uh, last yeah not last year right because of covid but i yeah 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 sure. and she was supposed to come visit me but then like you know just life happens but yeah when you come visit me when the world gets you know allows us to visit each other yeah. um yeah i'm gonna smoke you out girl i'm gonna smoke oh, yeah, you out i'm down i don't care you know because <laughs> for me it's not a drug it's just relaxing you know oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's also therapy for people you know if Hell you have yeah. that so we, we need to get here... rid of that yeah here in canada here in kimboology we're very cannabis friendly we're all about that life you know, meditate. Yeah, of course. You know, Look, Jamaicans. Medicate. I got Jamaicans friends here and they're so chill <laughs> out. So, you know. Oh my God. Margarita loves, like, I'm going to put, can I put your tea out there? Be like, Margarita loves Jamaicans. She loves the black men. Mm -hmm. She yeah. loves it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. I mean, but I, I want... told you she loves Jimmy Fox, so. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, um, it's something, you know, I think people, like I said, is all about energy you know when you mm -hmm. all of us is attracted in uh, from a specific type of person you know so amen girl. Me, 
Yeah, yeah, of course. No, Margarita's not one of those, you know, Italians that are just like, like, not, she's hella woke, guys. She's hella woke and she's just like, she's respectful. Ever since day one when I met you, you were always like, hella woke, hella respectful. Like, she always knew what was up. I was like, yes, that's why we like, <laughs> fuck with each other since day one yeah. like I didn't have to fucking do the whole explanation thing like you know I did have the time I did I remember when I told you the story though about like about how like in America how like in order to get a job you have, like black people have to straighten their hair remember I told yeah, you that I was, I was pissed off already where yeah were you like was that so weird to you uh yes I mean <laughs> I mean that you have to I I always thought because okay people don't know we don't we do have black people in Italy, but uh, they they come like uh, they from Africa and yeah. the perception. Uh, anyway, we're gonna talk another time about these things probably. Right, but right, 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 right. The situation is not good in my opinion. That's why I left Italy. But anyway, and right. uh, so but we don't have black people working in offices or working. You know, it's still like poor people. You know, trying to figure out. You know, what mm-hmm. to do in their lives. So, so I don't have that perception on. You know, having a um, you know, a black person working with me in the office, for example. So I, mm-hmm. I, I thought when I su- because we have the perception of black people lo- watching American movies or, or European movies from a uh, from UK. You know, so yeah. when I when you told me that someone was training their head because they had to, I said I thought it was the decision, and I said what the fuck. Yeah, um, yeah. I kind of like explained to her like basically like, and this is something that you know most black people i mean like most but like it's just a thing yeah. right we yeah. know we have the code switch code switching guys is if you know it's it's basically you know when you work in a in a, in a corporate setting or whatever job you know black people have to code switch we have to kind of like switch over you know maybe talk a little quieter maybe like shut down our little like our slang our ebonics maybe just talk a little you know maybe enunciate be your more quiet be more yeah be more like, quiet be and more hair right right and hair was one of it you know like if you rocked your natural hair or your fro or your braids it wasn't professional quote unquote you know it was deemed as unkempt or whatever the fuck yeah. so um I remember when I moved to Australia I had my hair straightener there and because of the voltage differences between Australia yeah. and America, my fucking hair straightener broke when I got down yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. And at that time, bitch, I was only straightening my hair. And if you guys are watching the visuals, yes, I have my hair straight right now, but this is a rarity. Like I said, my hairdresser yeah, took care of me. She straightened my hair. I don't straighten my hair anymore. I just, it's too much work. I rock I, my natural hair. This is the first hair. time that I see you actually. Like, right? Like, yes, you always have curly hair. Do you remember my uh, flatmate, Bianca? Because you're really open person. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Bianca, you know, the Aussie one, the Bianca. Yes, uh, the, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Uh, the funny one. Yeah, with uh, the dog? Yes. She, yes. Actually, she had a baby now recently, like <gasps> last week. So, oh, yeah. shit, she got a baby yeah, now. Yeah. Okay, okay. She, uh, she asked, you know, you have lovely hair. You know, that she asked you something. I was like, oh, bitch, don't do that. Uh-huh, and I touched yeah. her You said, yes, yes, of course. But, you, you know, I was like, oh, my God, you know. Yeah, no, I- <laughs> Margaret was like, oh, bitch, don't, don't touch your <laughs> because- hair. Don't do I it. <laughs> I also hate when people do just come and touch my hair. I say, bitch, oh, you don't girl. go to people. Or she asks, but you know what I mean? Sometimes I find it really weird. Yeah, like, okay, yeah. I mean, for me, when it comes to people, like, obviously the whole premise, don't touch my hair. It's very huge. A lot of black women do not fucking touch their hair. Obviously, that's very, you know, for me, yeah. you know, I, I'm, I'm never, I'm, I'm not, when it comes to that, I, I kind of go but case by case, you know what I'm saying? I think exactly. And, I think yeah, the way people they just put the, the you know, she asked to you, she she didn't say, I mean, tell you to touch your head, you know. I mean, she was is I think she, she was, was cool about it. Nice I, I wasn't you know? offended by it. Yeah. No, I wasn't no, offended yeah, yeah. by it. I really yeah, wasn't. Yeah. And I was just kind of like, okay, yeah, I don't really give a fuck. You know, honestly, like I'm not the type of black girl that will get really tight about it sometimes i'm just like it's I a think, matter of I think curiosity you, just, you, you know already if you can do or not in my opinion right because again it's all about what people what energy people give to you, you yeah know? yeah so, i could read people if i'm reading yes, you, you're a dick. yes no exactly, you. no exactly yeah you're a dick fuck you from junk, but bianca is a sweetheart but i remember I said, sweet, oh, yeah <laughs> girl and, y- and she had me all up in your house like you guys yeah. i was staying with marga with her in her bed <laughs> and her and her how many what was it one two three four four five, five. in total we were five plus you six and plus two dogs guys plus two dogs i was living in a fucking australian like house yeah. when i first moved to melbourne yeah. with marga 
and her five other five other four, four roommates, four. Yeah, four, four other four. flatmates, yeah. and two dogs. And I, <laughs> girl, I was like, now looking back, and I'm like, how the fuck did we do that? <laughs> It was cute though. Have, it was cute. Like yeah. we would go on the porch and have a. She would have a. You know, Margaret would have a smoke. We would drink. Yeah, glass of wine. With the doggies. Yeah. You know, she would tell me about work. We would catch up. You know, <laughs> it was a vibe. We would we would share planning, the kitchen planning space. Planning the weekend. You know, planning the right. weekend. You know, right? We you were you were planning the weekend. Yeah. 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 Remember that? That was cute. And then we would stay in the living room for a little bit. Like, I, and her roommates. Honestly, like, I never felt any shade from them. They you they were cool. Like. They were yeah yeah they, yeah they yeah they were yeah they were right I mean uh, I didn't feel any like, sort of uh, nah Tom used to love you so much yeah they were all white Aussies guys like I was living with a bunch of white people <laughs> I was just yeah, like yeah. straight white people for Aussie but they were like cool they were like chill like yeah, chill they would party yeah. though I remember that they would party they would go and get <laughs> fucked oh up they would be doing <laughs> girl they'd be doing some drugs I've never even heard of I was like what the fuck is that like yeah I mean exactly. I would be yeah. like. Some, yes, some... it was in yeah in LA. You remember Bianca had this? I don't know how to call it. It was it, it, it seemed like a big massive pill, but you a pill? something. Uh, yeah, it was like a, the size was like a pill, a, a massive pill, like, a massive um, sorry, pill. pill, like like a massive tablet. Sorry. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was sorry. just a huge. Yes, and she used to inlay what. Something had in inside. I don't know. Was around. Uh -huh. Around. She had. I don't know. She was drinking it or something. And uh -huh. I don't know what was that? And I was like, what's, what's oh, yeah. You were like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I they would have the well, first of all, you know, Aussies have nicknames for for regular shit that me and people, you know, in America yes. we have. So I they would be talking and I would be like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> Cause like they, like you said, stubbies and like they would say, like, oh yes. let me get let me get a stubby, mate. Like you're like, what? What does that mean? Huh? <laughs> you know, and so they would say <laughs> shit and I would be like, I don't know what they're saying because there's all yeah. these different like terms, like these little uh, shit. Do you remember McDonald's? It's Maccas. Oh yeah, so you guys to say McDonald's in 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 Aussie like the the Aussie speak it's Maccas. They would say but Maccas. But literally you go to the shop it doesn't this is Maccas. It doesn't Yeah. It, it doesn't really say McDonald's. It says Maccas. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like what the fuck? We're going to Maccas, mate. We're going to go to Mac Maccas, mate. And I'm like what? Maccas. What the fuck is Maccas? <laughs> That's McDonald's. Um yeah. yeah, there would be so many terms like that. So many. Yeah. And just from living there you just kind of like you know, Pick you just get used there. to it. Yeah. <laughs> I would just yeah, get used to all the weird terms, the terminologies. Yeah. What was some other things I would so say? Many, so many. I'm trying to think. Um, there, were, there were so many, actually. Oh. There were so many. Because when like you speak, yeah, when you speak with an Aussie, it's going to come up automatically. But for like, sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Even when I talk to my home, Granada, like she lives yeah. there now. She still lives there in Melbourne. Like, even though oh, she's good. she's she's Lebanese. Um, yes, Aussie, I remember so, her. I met her. Yeah, she, she's cool. She'll be on the show soon. Um, but yeah, she'll she'll bring out the Aussie accent sometimes. Yeah, it's Aussie nicknames or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure when you talk to your Scottish family that lives in Australia, the Aussie family in Scott, you know, I'm sure that yeah. comes up too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially with my cousins because my aunties they still have the Scottish, they still have the Scottish accent. Seems they like do, they, yeah. Yes, they're from Glasgow. Yeah, of course. That's right. Oh my god, I spent, <laughs> I spent new, I spent Christmas with your family. Yeah, with my yeah, family. We were there. Yeah, my mm -hmm. with Jean. Yes, yeah, and Nicole yeah. It was, and I, they were yeah. so sweet. They were so sweet. Yeah, I loved her Scottish alcohol. accent. I loved her. Your it was was it your was it your Jean, Jean. my auntie. Your auntie, yes, yes, mm. yes. She was so sweet. I loved yeah, her. Yeah, she's a she's the partying girl of my family. My granddad used to love when she used to go to Scotland, you know, to visit him. So, oh, okay, parties, okay, the party's coming, and uh -huh, so drinks and this uh -huh. and that. Yeah, yeah. She's a party girl. <laughs> I love her Scottish. I love Scottish accents. I think they're so cool. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I love they're their funny as fuck in my opinion. But, oh yeah. my god, it's it's so funny to me, girl. Yeah. Is everybody now you do know that like, okay, so you over here in a, you know, Marga, Marga is in fucking London in a fucking lockdown since December, guys. Yes. You know, it is February. And she did say mm -hmm. so Marga works in the in the in the uh, restaurant industry. Yes. Um, and she says that the fucking restaurants are not going to open back up till May, guys. It's fucking mm -hmm. May. Okay. Might Meanwhile, we're here in America. We're fucking open as shit. I mean, we were kind of in uh, Marga. We were in a lockdown mm -hmm. a little bit in Chicago where we couldn't go to eat at restaurants, right? 
Okay, yeah. They just actually opened it back up where now the restaurants, you can go eat inside restaurants now, um, but only 25% capacity. So very limited okay. spaces. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, the vaccines are now being distributed. Um, are the vaccines being distributed back in, in, in London too? Like, how do you feel about yes, that? Yes, yes. Well, uh, no, I feel like that we really need the vaccine, okay? Because I want to say also that talking about COVID is, COVID is like talking about religion, religions now, right? Because, it does feel that way, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's like ter- psychological terrorism, right? From right. the government, in my opinion. But I'm not, I'm not saying that it is true, it's not true. Everyone has their own opinion, I respect them. But right. we need the vaccine anyway, in my opinion, because... I mean, nothing's going to go back... To- Look at Chicago. Chicago right. is... Um, beautiful i've never been there but if i see you know i document myself with documentaries the ma- massive beautiful city like london mm-hmm. and if you shut down all these shops and bars and restaurants and what what are you gonna what are you gonna, what are you gonna do people are Girl. Gonna be fucking, you know back, bankrupt bankruptcy yeah you know? the economy's not doing well at all yeah so so marga like is the economy like is the government helping you out because obviously you're not working right now are you guys getting well, like I'm some sort of law. stimulus okay, so in uk here uh, we have the we do have the four law so you have what, what is it called what is it for law is f for law okay i need to for law it's called for law yes yes for, okay so basically the government says okay um if you still got your job okay yeah. or if you didn't get fired whatever uh if you still got your job um we're gonna pay the 60 percent of your salary and the other 20 percent is gonna be your employer paying for that so i in total is gonna is 80 percent that you receive from your salary oh okay 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 but because in the our hospitality, so in the re- in the restaurant hospitality industry, we do have the service charge. It's like sort of it's similar to America that you pay, you know, like an extra. You don't have to. Gratuity. Yeah, you don't have to. It's up to you if you want to pay or not, right? Mm-hmm. So they said, for people who are working in the restaurant, we're gonna pay you the eighty percent of the minimum wage. Not we're not gonna count the service charge. So it's basically shit. Mm. Okay. You understand what I'm talking about? Sorry, because maybe I, it's, it's not clear. So, so, you, so you're getting 80% of your check that you mm-hmm. normally would get. And are you getting tip? You, you, are you getting paid? You're not getting the tips then? No, like the, the exactly. Extra so for okay. example, uh, every month I earn, from the tips, I earn 500 pounds, let's say. Let's say that, okay. let's say yeah. that I earn 2,000 pounds. Yes, let's okay? just say that, yeah. But you need to take off the 500 pounds. So it's like if I earn basically uh, 1500. So is because, that, so that's essentially yeah. what you would be getting um, from the government. The 80% of that, let's say. Yeah. 80% of 1500. Yeah. Let's okay. say, it's, it's, sorry guys, because sometimes it's really tricky to explain it, but anyway. No, it's totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, but plus if you do have less than 16,000 pounds in your bank account, you can apply for university credit. So uh, uh-huh. it's a further help from the government. Okay. So which is good. So, so it's um, so it's so it's kind of like an unemployment sort of thing, maybe. No, no, no. Even if you have a job, but you you barely can pay for your rent. You can pay only pay for your rent for your bills and some food. Yeah. They can say, okay, if you have less than sixteen thousand pounds in your bank account, no, regardless you have you have a job or not, you yeah. can apply for university credit. And then we could calculate how much you can get per month on top of your four low, which okay. is fantastic. So they'll give you more money on every month on top of your four low. Yes. Four low sounds so, like it would be like an unemployment. Like, you know, yeah, like let's a, say. Like, yeah. Four mm-hmm. low. yeah. Let's Cause say, like yeah. for, yeah, for like in America, like say you have a job and then because of COVID you can't work, we would have to file for unemployment. And then unemployment oh, okay. would be what the government gives us money every two okay, weeks. Okay, similar is done, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very similar, yeah. I mean, every every country calls it differently, but it's you know, it's 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 basically the same premise in that sense. But um, just some countries do better than others when it comes to giving money. Oh to yeah, the, yeah, to yeah. Italy, for example, is in the shit. <laughs> uh, Italy, uh, they sh- uh, I got friends that've been waiting for six months, seven months of uh, their four law because Italy is a mess. But, really? Yeah. So they're not getting any unemployment out there in in Italy? No, they. I mean, they're still waiting for the money, and wow. how are they paying their like months. rents? Uh, I don't know. Oh, if God. you if you live with your parents, or I don't know, I mean, right, it's a mess, right. you know. Um, but people don't complain, you know. I don't know, but you know what? 
I don't live there anymore, so I, um, I can't even say, you know, they should, do, they should do that, they should do that, they should do this, because, you know, I now I live in London, so, but that's why I left Italy, because it's shit. I'm sorry, yeah. Italians, don't get, don't get offended, but I'm saying something that is frustrating, you know. That's why we are forced to leave our country, our beloved country anyway, to move somewhere else, to have a better future, so the same. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know. Well, I mean, remember, I remember when the when the pandemic first hit, you know, like I, I we in America, we heard that Italy got it super bad in the beginning, like yeah. that there were so many deaths. Yeah. And so like, yeah, yeah that's but at that bad. time, you at that time you were living in Italy, uh, you were li- living in London. So, yes, yes. Um, and, and then I realized a lot of people said, you know, because I work in, at the reception. So I'm a metro I worked at the reception. I welcome people, you know, and I deal with the bookings, whatever. And I used to have English people come back, coming to me and say, oh, Italian, where are you from? I said, I'm Italian. Do you have COVID? I said, no, I've been living here for... Mm, oh, three, wow. So they would just uh, be like, right away, do you have COVID because you're, Ital- you're Italian? And I said, Italian, the last time I, I went to Italy was a year ago. So if I get COVID, I get it from the English though. I mean, that's what my, was my response, you know? I mean, like, yeah. how rude you are. I that's mean, so rude, yeah. Are, but fine. But anyway, apart from that, you know, here and there, once in a while, it's fine, but... Hmm. Uh, so yeah, you're working really... so you at your job you were working as like a host like the reception person yes okay yes. okay yes still currently I, I mm-hmm. still currently yeah. okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. It's really, so yeah. yeah so it's tough right so basically restaurants are not open at all like you can't you can't like order food well, there's, at a restaurant? Yeah, there's, there's few restaurants they do delivery we do home okay dining, so, but you know sometimes they it depends on if they can afford that to do that you know right so, right because it, it takes money to run a business like yeah. they got to pay their employees and you know if it's yeah you're just a close you got- yeah, you got also coffee shop, they do delivery, you know, I got, I live in anyway, a lovely neighborhood, so there's lots of coffee shops, coffee shops, they provide delivery, but, you know, or you can just, you know, grab it and leave, but mm-hmm. that's okay. it, you know, but it's a little bit sad, actually, but and I got used to it, which is sad, even more yeah. sad that you get used yeah. to these things, but I try to just get focused on myself, you know, and that's yeah. it. That's the what about your, thing. well, how many flatmates do you live with? Well, we are in total, we are three. One is from Genoa, like, like me, Luca. She's from, okay, they're from Italy? Yes, yes, from Italy. And the other girl is from uh, near Prague. And uh, we used to Prague? work together in, a, yes, Prague. Okay. And we used to work previously in um, in a restaurant, her and I, like three okay. years ago. And then I said, well, if you want to come, you know, live with us, you can more than welcome that. what she did. So about three people, I think, is the right amount of people, you know. So it's you <laughs> and two other people? Yes. Yeah, Perfect. Indeed. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. And you guys are all out of work because of COVID. Yes. All at yes. home. Uh, okay. But, <sighs> but, but it's okay. fine. I mean, you know, we have our rooms. You know, if you want to feel like I don't want to talk to people, right? You just go to your room, or otherwise, you anyway, you can go for a walk in your neighborhood. I mean, I'm not saying that you just need to stay in the house. Just put your mask on. You know, you can walk and that's it. So, okay. You know, but we're doing good, so I can't complain, to be honest. There's people that really are in the shit, like seven people, you know, because London is fucking expensive. Yeah, girl. And the people living in six, seven people, which is horrible, with not even sharing a living room, so just, you know, just rooms. I yeah. don't know. I really say, guys, you're tough, because it's really, I mean, my God, Kim seven people you know in a in a pandemia no no thank you yeah girl i mean it, can you imagine us living back when where we when we went mm. or like when we were in australia with the oh fucking god. five six of us and two dogs during this pet like being oh my god together can oh you imagine god, yeah. girl oh but, we would have murdered each other yes. <laughs> probably we would have just moved you and i in an, in an apartment oh between. yeah That's that would have been way Definitely. too hard can you oh yeah. my god that would have been way too hard and to manage dogs oh my god girl oh with one god. bathroom the one bath <laughs> you guys we had one fucking bathroom <laughs> I forgot about that, Martiga. Oh my god, the bathroom yeah. was actually quite big. It was, it was bigger pretty, than my room. <laughs> it was a huge bathroom, but there was one in this fucking house, and there's six of us that need to use it, oh and the god. and the two dogs. I'm not <laughs> the two dogs that we need to use, but you know what I mean. But damn, I remember we had to like literally like ask each other like, "Hey, who's gonna yeah. take the shower next? Who's gonna use the bathroom next?" Like. <laughs> It was a cosa. It was a whole thing just to fucking get like showered and like get ready for work. Obviously, because I was 
when I was staying in your place, I wasn't working because I was still looking for work. So I always knew in the morning, like everyone had to get ready for work. Yeah, so yeah, I would yeah. stay out of the bathroom and let everybody get ready for work and like go to and work. Then, and then, and then I would enjoy, yeah. yeah enjoy the peace. Yeah. And, and then I would get up and be like, all right, let me go ahead and the, use the toilet, and, you know, brush my teeth and shit yeah, yeah, out yeah, of, yeah. out of, you know, courtesy to the, y'all letting me stay in the place. Yeah. But yeah, that was I, girl. I can't re- you, I remember that shit. Uh, yeah. Do Good you times, miss huh? Melbourne? <laughs> do you miss Melbourne? I do. I do miss Melbourne. I was just talking to, you know, my partner, Ricky. Yeah. About like, where, where, where are we going to go visit when things, you know, where's the first place we're going to go to when things sort of calm down and, you know, mm-hmm. we're allowed to kind of assemble back yeah. into like normalcy of sense of like traveling and things like that. And yeah, I was telling him, I'm like, man, I really need, I want to go back to Australia. Like I need to go back. Like I haven't been in so many years and it's like a second home yeah. to me, you know, I've, I've lived there. I know. So. And, and you- then you've been through so much shit anyway, people, she had so much bad luck guys. I can just. Oh my God. Right, Marga in, in Australia. Uh, so, uh, so she moved, she find, finally found this place. So we, I said, oh, well, can you come and see this apartment okay i went and said no 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 there's no fucking way you're gonna go there fuck off no you take your time all right and then she found uh like a room right yeah and then after my month she called me up was it quick i said what happened i got bugs bed bitch i had bed bugs yes you guys when i was living in australia i had fucking bed bugs it was the worst fucking experience of my life Oh my, if, if you, if any of you have experienced bed bugs, you know what the fuck I was, or even fleas. If you guys have experienced fleas, it's very similar, but if it, it was the place that I moved into had them yeah. like, because the place I moved into was like a transient, like everybody, it was an ex back place. Like everybody mm-hmm. moved in and out. Like it was a, this, the, the owner of the building was this total dick and he knew it. Like it was just a place where people would move in and out very quickly. Like you paid month to month, but you just didn't have a lease. You just kind of like you know, like, you know, whenever like people needed a few, a few stay yeah. in a few, stay somewhere for a few months or whatever, they would go there. And yeah, it was like an ensuite. Like I had like a room and a bathroom and then there was like a shared like kitchen area girl. And the thing about that, like, I didn't realize I had them because I never had them. I never experienced them. I didn't know. No, you came fuck. once. I remember you came once and said, I've got something in my arm. I said, oh, yeah, my wrist. Is. Remember that? Yes. Yeah. I had these like little things. I was like, what the fuck is this on my wrist? You know? And I wasn't sure. I remember that. And I went to my coworker. I was like, girl, what's going on? And she's like, you know, she's like, maybe a bit. But then I remember I went to the pharmacist or something like that. And they, she was like, no, that's not bed bugs. Don't worry about it. That's something else. Da, da, da. Maybe a rash or something. I was like, all right, cool. I calmed down. And then I remember I like, sure. I remember the day I saw them hoes. Girl, <laughs> it is like a fucking night. I can't even, if I think about it, like I get the fucking heebie jeebies. Like I went, I looked at yeah, my exactly. girl and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> that moment oh my god it was so fucking and then crazy. we were so lucky because i called tom i said look him is gonna come i i said i'm gonna tell the truth listen now she's just you know washing it in 45 degrees whatever 90 degrees yeah whatever. i said okay yeah. make sure and he said okay so now you come back fuck it you're not gonna stay in that butthole Wow. Oh my God, Marga. Yeah, I, I was traumatized. I threw out everything. I threw everything out. Yeah. I threw everything yeah. I owned out. And I lived out of like a garbage bag for like a little bit. And I, I remember I even slept at my house. I mean, I mean, I remember I even slept at my job too for a little bit while I was figuring things yeah, out. And enough. and at yeah. that time too, I remember, I, so at this point, I, at a point I was like fucking homeless because I had no place to live. And I was like my, you know, I was staying at my job. I was working at this like bridal boutique. And they had this back room area where they like were the owners because the owners didn't live in the area either. They lived in like um, Brisbane. Yeah, they were from Brisbane. Oh yeah, so. true. Right. So they would when they would come in, they would stay in that. They would stay in the back oh, room. True, yeah. So there was like an air mattress and shit. I remember I was staying there for a little bit too. And then I remember I had a trip to Fiji that I booked like ages yeah. ago. Remember that? And I had like this trip to Fiji. And mm-hmm. I was like, well, what do I do? I was like, should I go to Fiji with no place to live and just girls a fucking mess, man. And then, I. You know- I I mean, uh, God is good. And then you find that place with the Aussie guy that you, you used to work in this club. You remember that night we went to this club and we had all for free, drinks for free. I don't know what was his name, I don't remember. You, Wait, you stayed with this it? guy. He he was a Aussie from Australia, sorry. Uh-huh. 
And then you called me up and said, oh, I'm going to stay in his place with him like for few, like a month or so. Or something. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. So I had a I had a, a roommate that I ended up staying with for a little bit. This Aussie guy. Yeah, he was cool. His name was Fallon. Yeah, yeah. And they said, you, if you want to come to my club and then we went. Oh, yeah. Three. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. Because like. he worked at a, like at a club or some shit. And. Yeah. He took care of us, girl. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh my God, you remember that? I, <laughs> I fucking forgot about that. I remember shit. everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember. I moved. I lived in so many different places when I lived there. When I moved in Australia, yeah. guys, because I moved yeah. so much when I was there. So like, yeah, I I stayed in this when I was living with that guy. I was yeah. staying in this like high rise, and it was just a yes. room that I rented out. Yes. He was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I remember I was living with him when I got the call that my dad passed. So I had to like nah, abruptly true. leave. And yeah, it was just yeah. Yeah. you know chain reaction i mean like i said what the f-? i was yeah just a, ro- a roller coaster you know it Those- really was it was australia was like the most amazing year of my life but it was also the f- hardest year of my life by yeah. far the most challenging Challenge, year but it yeah. made me like who i am like no exactly but, yeah it told like oh, yeah. you know when it comes to like learning life and you know, you got to have to, you kind of have to go through those hard times. You got to go through those struggles. You got to have to like, and they make for good stories, but it makes you stronger. A hundred percent, hundred percent makes you stronger. And, and then I met yes. so many beautiful souls like you, you know what I'm saying? My girl, not like, I met so many amazing people. Like it made it, to- it totally worth it. And it just, it made me find myself. Cause I was by myself, you know, through all of this in the sense you know what I mean? Like you're living, you move to a different country by yourself. You don't know anybody. You have to learn and make friends and you know, yeah, it's, you know, you put yourself out there and you don't know what, you know. I mean, for me, let's say, let's be honest, you know, I moved there by hard family. So in for me, in the like financial wise and psychologically at the beginning was of course a uh, good help. But people, if you move to Australia to the down under or New Zealand, the feeling that you have every day when you wake up, I said, Oh my god, I'm far away from home. I mean, I like him in the down under is one o'clock here in the afternoon, it's four o'clock in the morning there. I mean, it's just you feel alone sometimes, you know. Yeah. So it's, it really is, is a challenge, you know. But what you helped you? Go. What helped you feel like, like well, when you definitely felt you, most... of course, definitely you. Yeah, yeah you are really sure. because you're such an inspiration anyway. We've already told you that, but oh, you, you are that person that what I love about you the most is like you 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 fear for you is nothing you don't even know you just go I mean ah, I found this place <laughs> let's go I find this let's go oh I found this workshop for free let's go you just go with the flow you go 500 million jobs and you do it <laughs> the best way Bitch. possible so no, many jobs <laughs> you're not that kind of person when you when I call when I text you or call you said how are you you just you don't, you don't say it Oh, good. No, I did this, I did that. Oh, you know what? You always have something to, because you are that kind of person. So definitely, Girl. you help me out to, to just, down. you know, yeah, but you know. Oh my God, Marga, that's right. I, I remember that we went to that ta- that tantric um workshop mm-hmm. together. Ooh. Yes. I do remember. The, do you remember? Yes. The so me and my, yeah, so, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> the Irish me, man. So when I was living in Australia, I did find tantra. I have you guys, if you're interested, I have a whole episode called the tantric sex episode. It's in the podcast. Go find it. Uh, highly recommend listening to it. I tell, I tell you guys about my whole, yeah. you know, experience with tantric sex, mm-hmm. but yeah, me and I remember I was super curious and we went to this workshop and I was like, Marga, go with me. Like I found this like free workshop. Yeah, I want to check so- out. And you were like, okay. <laughs> and then we went together yeah. and yeah, was wasn't lovely. it some shit? <laughs> it was just like, I cried. There. what was that? I cried yeah because- we did that's right it was emotional it was like because it definitely makes you like vulnerable you know go into like yeah. some more vulnerable feelings vulnerable state you know um it was beautiful yeah. I loved it I loved sharing that with yeah. you too like Marga, yeah, Marga yeah. was my ride or die too like if I call her I'll be like girl yeah. I got this to go to you what you doing tonight she'd be like I'm there where we going yeah. tell me where to meet you yeah. blah, blah, blah. I'm that kind of person <laughs> guys if you have something organized I come I don't like organized but I'm that kind of person that you know I come with you I don't care you know as yeah. unless if it's legal it's something that you know we can do <laughs> yes otherwise not but yes I'm that kind of person. <laughs> you're like Marga I got this bank I need to rob what's up girl <laughs> 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 no, Marga is that girl. Like, she will always yeah. be down to like try new things, go to yes. new places. I mean, yeah. I yes. mean, like you've lived. I mean, Marga, you've lived in Australia. You lived in Italy. You lived in London. Did you live anywhere else? Lived in uh, Sydney. No. Uh, yeah, Sydney. Uh, Brisbane. Sydney. 
Breezy. Brisbane. Brisbane. Oh, you lived in Brisbane. That's right. You lived in Brisbane. So she lived in multiple parts of Australia. Yes, yes. I had you the look- chance, actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you ever go to New Zealand? You didn't do, do New no, Zealand. No, because, you know, I'm a workaholic. So, you know, you, you always told me, ah, oh, you should do this, you should do that. Mm-hmm. Actually, I didn't even think about it when I had to. I don't know. I don't know. I know why I, I didn't go to New Zealand because I want to go after my journey in Australia. But then I decided to do, make a surprise to my 60th birthday of my dad. So that's why I didn't go. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. but I said, well, I t- did you, know, you ever plan to go to New Zealand or no? No, but no? maybe, okay. you know, uh, I mean, I want my uh, my dream is to well, my dream, my uh, purpose now is to rent a van in Australia that I never did it when I was there. Mm. go to the coast like east coast and then go to new zealand for two weeks because i want to take a month and a half so i got plans but now i don't want to say anything because when it's you know for sure i will say to the world right yeah i want to just take like a a month and a half or maybe even three months why not after this year i said you know Mm -hmm. fuck it you know so your dream so your next plan is to take a like a, up to three months off go to australia yeah. rent a van and just drive yeah. up the coast and you know if we cannot fly to australia even 20 in, in, uh, until 2022 i'll go in italy you know italy is beautiful you girl can rent you are in europe you can there's so many beautiful yes. places there like you can go and like and that's the thing like europe like I mean, you're in London. So yeah, yeah, London. Like, girl, I remember I went yeah. to fucking Amsterdam for like a few days. I went to fucking, you yes. know, Paris. I went in, to Belgium. In, in, yes. In 50 minutes flight, I can be in Austria, in Vienna. 50 you can be minutes, in Vienna. not even one minutes. hour. Yeah. You know I mean, it's amazing. Fucking amazing. But then I had the chance to come to United States. I mean, in Florida. To visit That's my friend right. Yes, you did go my, to Florida. Yeah. One of my best friends, he, he's a uh, professor at uni. He's, he teaches uh, Spanish. Because he's uh, half Italian, half uh, Ecuadorian. Oh, cool. Yeah. It, well, well, he wasn't in Miami because people say, I, you went to Miami. No, I went to Bonita Springs. Okay. Mm-hmm. In mm-hmm. the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so it was, it was interesting. Uh-huh. Really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, girl. I felt yeah. weird. I Florida felt weird. now is just, girl. The, the South of America, they treat this shit so different, girl. When I tell you. It's like a whole nother fucking country down there. I mean, in, in Atlanta because, yeah, yeah. And, in, and in fucking Florida and Texas. Like, if you want to go someplace where they don't give a fuck about a mask or the corn or COVID, like, bitch, yeah. parties are going like crazy there. They like, told they don't, me that. Yeah, girl. Like, the, the rule, I mean, it's state by state. So just, you know, yeah. like, like Australia. yeah, it's state by state. Yes, like, like in Australia. Yeah. Cause like Melbourne, from what I remember, from when I talked to my girl, not a Mar- Mar- uh, Melbourne's doing great. Melbourne, yeah. Victoria, the state of Victoria in Australia, yes, they're doing great. Yes. Um, Perth has is now on a lockdown. Yes. yes so Perth indeed. is in a lockdown right now. Um, I don't know quite how long or anything like that, but that's a different part. That's a, that's more that's more north and then east of yes, Australia. Northeast, yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't quite know, but she told tell me that every other all the other states are doing okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but they have so many, yeah. But they don't have many cases anyway, you know. So they no, like they don't have many cases, cases for two weeks anyway. Yeah. so that's good. And if they do, but, like she told me that when they did find, they found one guy that had COVID, like that tested positive for COVID, mm-hmm. like th- two a few weeks ago, and they took him and they put him in a in a hotel. So it's not like yeah. so here in America, right? If you get tested for mm-hmm. you have COVID, right? You you test positive. Yeah, you're supposed to quarantine, but they don't regulate it. They just tell you to go home. So like obviously, right. So it's like, just go home. And so basically like people are not going to all listen. So they're just running rampant and they're running around. You know what I'm saying? Like in Australia, they take them and they put them somewhere and they are not allowed to leave until they fucking. No, clear. I mean, they right, But you need to also think about that. They're only 25 million in the whole Australia. I mean, true, true, true. You know, I mean, if you have, to pay, people, mm, if you have to pay for all the people in the United States, of course, that the right. more cases, you know, do you know what I mean? True, I mean, true, they absolutely. Really lucky. For example, New Zealand, done a, that they don't have a case anymore because no, like COVID is gone. The island, I mean, yeah, you know? they're gone. But like they don't. Anyway, but this is the right, I mean, attitude. You know, you can't just say to people, millions of people, 
uh, in different nations, it's up to you. You know, you should stay home. I mean, of course, I'm not gonna stay home if I do, if I, especially people that don't think that the virus exists. Oh you know? yeah, because- girl, we got plenty of those. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're running around, fucking yeah. spreading it and shit, not giving a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, but Miami, so, I mean, they need to close down it anyway, anyway. Come on, I mean, you can't girl, just pretend that nothing happened. But it is the yeah. ghetto in some places. It's just yeah. crazy. It's. I mean, mind you, like, so now I'm an essential worker. So I'm, you know, yeah. being seen yeah. people all the time. And, you know, we're obviously, we're very clean. We wear masks. They're enforced. Mm-hmm. We clean yeah. our services every 30 minutes. Uh, we take it very seriously. Um, so it's just a matter of, you know, I mean, my, I might, my, my, one of my best friends, she's a nurse and she's literally yeah. in contact. She got the vaccine though. So uh, oh, but she's in contact with it all the time. You know, I know. Um, it's hard. You know? Yeah. It's- uh, Ricky what- too, my partner. Yeah, he's, uh, he's essential worker too. He's literally working right now oh. on oh, Chicago God. PD. They're filming, so yeah. oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, girl, it's just it's just it's wild. I'm just like man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'm I'm very I'm thankful though that you're you're safe and you haven't, you know, nothing is, like your family's been okay, right? Like no one in your yes. family or, or your friends. Yes, have, yes. Okay. Also, your family is okay. Girl, I, no, <laughs> like my best <laughs> friend. My best friend, yeah. yeah, and her family, like my best, like my, you know, like they, their family has been getting hit, girl. Like she lost her dad, no. she lost oh. her fucking no. grandma, she lost her tia. I mean, it's been really bad. And then Ricky's family, like he just lost his tia, and he lost his cousin no. and his great uncle. Like it's just, it's been really bad. Yeah, it's, it's it's no joke you know it's so yeah that's why i didn't no, even I have an episode i like uh, i took a week off girl because it was just so much it was just so much i was no, exhausted just it was just a lot yeah it was just a lot yeah people so, are going to, to real real shit you know so girl i'm sad yeah real fucking shit yeah, yeah. you said it you fucking said it I'm sorry, excuse i mean me. <clears throat> i'm happy though that you you seem like you're in good spirits and you seem like you're you know as as far as yeah. having being in quarantine in london you know, you look good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always see. I need to. Anytime we say we always see the 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 half glass. You know, the full half glass. You know. Yeah. I mean, you see the. I can pay for my rent. Yeah. Yes, I can yeah. pay for my rent. I can pay. Of course, I go to Aldi, Lidl, so cheap as fuck. You know, I you know I go to grocery shopping that can afford. Yeah. And you know, these people. You have food on your plate. Don't have anything. Yeah. Right. You have a roof over your head. So. Yeah. So yep. can't complain about it, to be honest, exactly. you know. Marga, Marga. Well, she, this is, I love seeing her. I love catching up with Marga. Again, you can see me and her. I mean, literally, like, we can go, like, a, a long time yeah. not talking. Of course. And we still, <laughs> yes. whenever we catch up, it's just like, yeah. it's just like we never left each other. Just like we're living <laughs> yeah, exactly. together in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> in the house yeah. so i love her so much yeah. so I love uh, too. but yes thank you so much margaret for that update i appreciate thank that you. very very much uh we're gonna take a quick break and then when we come back we're gonna do our next segment which is our meditate masturbate meditate so we'll, be right we'll be right back and we are back all right guys so it is time for meditate masturbate or uh, Marga, what would you like to talk about today? What do you choose? Well, masturbation, you know. Yes. <laughs> not pandem- also, because in a pandemic, what you can do is masturbate. So, that's girl, I was gonna say, I was like, <laughs> I mean, like, how is that life for you? Like, have you not? Have you dated, or have you like? No, I don't. I can't. I can't date at this moment, you know. Yeah. Because of COVID, you know, I'm taking seriously anyway. But I do have my friend and my bed. Sometimes it's there you waiting go. for me. Yeah. Who's your friend, girl? Tell us about well, your friend, though. I, I got the box here, and this is the box. But I can show you. This is the box bought on Amazon. Yes, 24 pounds. she got yeah. a masturbating tool, y'all. Oh, it's yeah. like double ended. It's uh, I like two sides. I'll show you. No, it's one side. I'll show you. It's clean and shit there, of course. Ta-da! So hey, it's like for, it's blue. Okay, yeah. so is it? A vibrating tool for your clitoris. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. So she uses that to vibrate on her clit, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. So so when you're masturbating, you don't you don't insert anything inside you. You don't um. 
No, because no, actually not. I want to buy one, of course, but I'm quite happy with this one now. Yeah. Of course, I want to buy another one who is like suck your clitoris. Oh, I've like seen that. those. Uh, I want to. I, I saw good reviews, so I yeah. saw those. Yeah, they're like these. There's like this like tool yeah. that like it's it, mm. it, it it simulates like sucking like the sucking motion <laughs> <laughs> on your clip. <laughs> I was like, yo, what the fuck? Niggas better watch out because these toys are getting too, uh, you know, skilled. Oh, yeah, you- but let me tell you, man, I, I still love men, you know. <laughs> Mark is like, don't get it twisted. Yes. No, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, don't get it twisted. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> I still it's need a me a man. Yeah. It's a okay. Feeling, yeah. <laughs> Girl. Oh my God. So like, yeah. So like during this pandemic, like you haven't dated at all. Have you like experienced like dating or like, like no. how is that? No. Do you have friends that have like gone on on dates or have experienced? Oh yeah. 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 Here people use Tinder. Like, yeah. Tinder. Okay. Yeah. The, the, I mean, they go, if you don't go out with a mask, they get pissed off, but then they go to t- on Tinder, which is funny for me. Ah, really- interesting. <laughs> the yeah. hypocrisy. It's like, yes. really? You're mad about me not wearing a mask, but you're going to go meet yes, a total yeah. stranger yeah. Yeah. and go yeah. hook yeah. up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, but anyway, but anyway, right. yeah, I've got lots of people. They probably because there's lots of people, they need you yeah. know, to have like a sex with the other person, you know? because right. maybe the sex toy is not comfortable enough for them or I don't know or it's not, or maybe it's not enough you yeah. know you want to share with someone else but for me now I'm quite happy you know but you know, <laughs> if I find someone who wants to be you know spend you know uh like time with me and with my toy as well why not hey you know? what's up you know? <laughs> yeah. you Mark, need, so to funny. find the right person that's <laughs> right know? girl that's right I mean so yeah so you're totally like content in that sense of like you know I mean yeah some people can't you know they can't yeah. stay away for like they need that you know yeah. that touch that yes. interaction with people presence let's say yeah I mean like for you you know you're quarantined with two other people but I mean unfortunately some people are quarantined like alone like they have nobody you know like they have no. just by themselves so it's like for them maybe they feel like you know they can find like somebody that you know they get tested both of them and then they you know I don't know yeah. listen this year, this year, last year and this year going fo- yeah. going forward have been super tough. So I'm all here for whatever you want to do, but <clears throat> excuse me, keep it safe and try yes, not to spread that. You know, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, speaking of virus. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, Cardi B voice. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> Cardi B voice. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean obviously I'm all about that masturbating little wife if you want to yeah. just you know that's the safest way to go about it right now you know yeah. what I'm saying if you don't yeah. want if you yeah. don't if you're I scared of COVID it, you know yeah get I you a little also, tool yeah it's a nice it's a nice time also okay pandemia is not only negative because with the you know pandemic you can also listen to yourself a little bit more and what you like what you don't like you know you because you're not you don't have the stress of work you know like oh my god you know I need to but because I need to release the stress you know you just True. do it because you want just to enjoy that moment you know so it's really that's why I'm so relaxed darling hey <laughs> she's been spending lots of time with her toy look at this face she got that glow uh, that long braid <laughs> Marga I'm so in love with this sickening braid you show the show us again how long your hair is yeah, he, she got that long hair, y'all. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like uh, I don't know. Uh, it was sunny time from the south. You know, I don't know. It gives me this. Yeah. As well, you know. You're like, giving I me like, like Spanish, summer like... island vibes. Mm. Love it, bitch. Yes, Love yes. It. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what a good time. Hopefully, we can have that soon or whatever yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I mean, like, it's been so cold here in Chicago. Is it cold over there? Minus one, but it's nothing compared to Chicago, of course. Ah, because. Because we have minus one. Here. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So that's degrees. thirty-six. That's minus one is like thirty-one degree, thirty-one degrees Celsius, thirty-one degrees Fahrenheit, guys. Because you're okay. saying it's minus one is Celsius. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. So for for my listeners that don't know what minus one is, but minus one is not negative one Fahrenheit, guys. It's minus one exactly. is, is it's Celsius. Snowy now. Yeah, so that means it's gonna be thirty-one degrees. Okay. So, so that's still a so it's still technically it's a you know under freezing, but still not that's as cold real. as here. Here, oh, no, girl, no, 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 bitch. Do you want to know how cold it is here? In fucking yes, Chicago, I want to know. It's fucking cold as hell. 
Let me show you. Right now it is. Oh, it's it's gone up a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh. Never mind. It got it went up a little bit. This is how cold it is right now. This isn't this isn't Celsius. So you can so okay, you can see yeah. it. It's negative nine. But then we're gonna have like negative fifteen. Yeah, but it's like Sunday. minus nine feels like minus fifteen. Is is six is yeah. sixteen degrees. Yeah. 16 degrees Fahrenheit. So 16, it's right now currently 16 degrees Fahrenheit, which is still fucking brick dick. It's still cold as fuck. Yes, so yes. Yeah. Chicago is like, uh, oh my God. It's Girl, we cold time. as hell. I know. But you, have a, you have a good summer anyway. What was that? You have good summer anyway, no? We, Chicago summers are lit, but it's like when you can still like go around and do things, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Like last summer true. was like, limited as fuck you couldn't go and do no, much no. so but yeah normally summertime in chicago is like the best time you know like i always tell Margaret to come visit me in the summertime in chicago yes have a litty titty time um but yeah i can't even promise you a litty time this summer because i just don't even know how the fucking summer's gonna be no i really don't think it we're gonna talk about i think in 2022 probably but yeah i i, well, I we know time feel... flies anyway so you know true I mean, girl's already february and shit yeah I'm like, yeah oh. I, uh, I always try to be positive you know so true, yeah but true. once i'm gonna be there oof. i Jamie know Fox, yeah, i can't me. wait i haven't seen this bitch in forever so many years five years yeah yeah seems uh. like but I know, like I'm gonna squeeze yeah. you so bad when I finally see yeah, you me again. Yeah, too. Me too. I know, yeah, Marga, so you've I... been so great to have on the show. Thank you, Thank you so much. Me. I've missed you, boo. I miss you too, boo. Yeah. I, and I'm gonna have to eventually go. You guys, I, so she lives in London. I've been to London before. I didn't love London though, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't stand for no, London. Yeah, but... It was fucking expensive. I stayed in the yes. shittiest fucking hostel. It was in a pub, bitch. Did I tell you that story? How I was in this? Oh, yeah, because we, there, there's, um, yeah, hostess, yeah, they have the pub and then, yeah, oh, really, yeah. Uh, it was dodgy, dirty. really, yes, yes. And it yes. was still a lot of money. It was like $32 a fucking night. Uh, Euro, euros. It was like 32 euros. And like, it was still fucking like dirty and nasty. I was like, ugh. Well, but I, didn't I love told London her. Either, but, you know, what was you that? Could, uh, sorry to interrupt you. I didn't love London either, but there's so many opportunities compared to, you know, to yeah. Italy, yeah, yeah. yeah no, but yeah. I, I feel like though, if if I t if I hang out with you and get a more, you know, like a local, yeah. you know, feeling of like where you go and where the places, like I'll feel like I'll have a different perspective because I just oh, had yeah, the touristy, but it was so expensive. Oh I my know, god, that girl, that British pound is no fucking joke. I could not, I, I couldn't take it. It it's, was so expensive. Yeah, I got clients from they come from New York or actually from Chicago yeah and uh yes and uh they said oh my god is london's more expensive than new york i said oh jesus made in joseph i mean i thought new york was one of the most expensive city in the world but apparently it's london yeah trans public transports are like insane so i catch the bus now guys i don't catch the underground anymore uh -huh. because it's too expensive oh, at least yeah? I, can enjoy, I can enjoy yeah i can enjoy you know to see enjoy the city even if the i have tube. to jump in the bus one hour before i don't care no tube so it's anymore. Too expensive. Too expensive. Yeah. 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 The tube is okay, expensive. Not, huh? Yeah. They the raised it like, The tube is like their trans. Is their train underground? Yeah. It's an underground mm -hmm. train. So they call it the tube. Yes. Yeah, yeah girl. Tube, yeah. I mean, I was. I couldn't stay in London very long. I was like, bitch, I'm broke. I was backpacking, so I was like, bitch, I'm broke. I can't be fucking staying in London. It was so yeah. expensive. Yeah, so was. yeah. It Next was. time, hopefully, then when I go visit you and like I'll have a you know a good chunk of change I can save up. And I can have a good time out there. Yeah, and maybe we wanna... can go to Italy together as well, you know? Oh, my God. Yes, I haven't cheaper. been to Italy yet. I haven't been to Italy yet. Isn't that crazy? I would love to go. I always yeah. suggest to people that to go with Italians to Italy. Just yeah. Inside. Yeah. I want to, bitch, I want to go to, like, these, like, I feel like uh, they're, like, these, like, like, hot springs or something like that. I forgot what part of Italy was part. But I want, oh. like, the, like, local, like, small, like, very, like, remote like secret secret like amazing places in italy like oh like... but italy is most <clears throat> most of italy is like that you know you see you look like a for, foreigners like they say ah oh, i'm just walking through history you know like true everywhere. which is I true i felt that way about prague because when i went to prague i was like yeah no this yes. i feel like i'm in a fucking history book yeah. right now this is crazy yeah that's true yeah yeah, yeah. italy is really uh, old like uh you know mm -hmm. you find buildings that are really old you know, but like uh, you should have been doing something here. But anyway, you know. 
I'm down. Okay. Like I'm so I cannot wait to like travel again, bitch. Ugh, yeah. I wanna, wait. yeah, I want to go to South America. I want to go to Sp- I want to go everywhere. You know. I you know. know. Me, yeah. Time. How many How many countries have you been to? Did Do you have a count? Uh, or? I lived uh, uh, <clears throat> Spain, London, Spain, UK. Uh, travel or lived? What? Uh, lived. You mean where I lived? Uh, lived no, like how many tra- places have you been to? Like how many countries have you been to? I think. Seven, seven probably seven, seven yeah that you seven, counted eight. yeah seven eight, but yeah, yeah but marga will she'll go to places and she'll like live there for a while like she's she stayed like she's lived yeah why like, not? Marga, you've lived you've lived abroad more than me like you've lived in yeah, i lived in spain as well yeah you lived in spain year. too mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. In 2008 2009 yeah she's she's in a, a serial in like uh, santiago de compostela in the north in galicia Ooh. but why not i mean you know i mean I said, I had enough of it, you know, the world is just waiting for me. So why not? Amen, girl. Amen. I'm getting tired sitting in this truck in Chicago already. I'm ready yeah. to fucking try another city or try yeah. another fucking country again. Yeah. So. so we'll see. You know, maybe we can catch up in another country, you know, and let's see. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, girl. You know? you never let's know, just put it. Hopefully it's... we're going to go to a new normality really soon. Yes, I hope so, Boo Boo. Well, I'm happy that you know you're doing good. You look beautiful. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you so much. Um, yeah. Do you do you want to like have? Do you want to share your like? So, Marga's not a big social media person though. You're really not, right? No. Yeah, no. she's really not. I'm she's not. very like. Oh, chill. You know me. Yeah, I'm really simple. Yeah, she's I'm really not, chill. Saying, she just wants a like, beer and some noodle I don't soup. Even care, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you yeah. guys will see her when me and her can see each other, and we take photos together, and then we'll post it on we'll post it on the web on the Instagram so you can see her. Mm-hmm. But yeah, thank you so much thank for coming you. on the thank show. You. I super appreciate you. And guys, if you guys enjoyed, as always, please, please, please leave your um subscribe um uh, subscribe and rate on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe to us on Spotify. All I'm on everything, whatever. Um, Instagram. I mean, yeah, Instagram Kimbology Podcast. Follow us on YouTube here. If you want to watch the visuals, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Um, Yeah, I have a lot of good things planned coming up. And yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. Always email me at kimbologypodcast at gmail.com. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. And thanks for joining me this week. And Margarita, thank you again. Say goodbye to the good people. Thank you, Kimmy. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. A big hug to everyone. Bye. See you next week. Kimbo out. Brought to you by the Rick Dog Network. (coughs) Well, shoot the damn dog.